Okay, it's Tuesday. I'm uh, going into Provo to visit my friend George. And uh, I'm depressed. I don't like leaving my son like this. I know he's 34, blah, 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 but I miss him. He's my son. I gotta get up here. Anyways, it's beautiful. I mean, jeez. I should have shot the Rockies, I mean, back there by Salt Lake. I should have shot Salt Lake. I just, I was thinking, I've been thinking. That's uh, Utah, uh, Lake Utah, or Utah Lake. So this is the Utah Valley. So there's Utah Valley, which is this, for Provo, BYU, you know, all that. Jeff, see, there's, here you can see, there. There's the Rockies. That's what the Rocky Mountains look like. Taller than crap. See, they're so tall, they go up into the clouds, unlike what we see in our scum sucking uh, LA area but uh, see look at this I remember when this was nothing and now is houses everywhere those stupid buildings were nothing this was I remember your, this is all this has all been shaved down and you come around this corner and I think there was like a little mine there for a long time look at all here just tons Houses, church, house, church, house, church, church, house, 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 church, house. Just, and a lot of these are Californians. The majority are Mormons from California and other places. And they seem to get it in their skulls that when they uh, get close to retirement or whatever, or they retire, or they come up here. And it's, it, uh, it's annoying. I gotta tell you the truth. Sunday at the, cause I usually go to church up here and I don't say anything, I don't stand up and, cause they got a thing where you once a month stand up and you bear your testimony of Jesus Christ. And everybody gets up and tells about their family and how great they are and how, what they did during the week and they're called travel monies or thank a monies or grateful money or crazy money a couple of those you're supposed to simply get up and bear witness that you know that Jesus Christ lives that he is Savior of the world, blah blah blah, not blah blah. I'm sorry, Father. So <laughs> I got up and did it, but I added a few little things about you know what made my testimony stronger, and actually the accident did, and going through that hellish marriage did. <laughs> you know, actually, I hope she's doing all right because she had a really hard life. That's why it didn't work. She didn't tell me about the hard stuff she'd gone through, so I had no idea what I was getting into. So, anyways, there. Beep. So, look at this. This was not here. When I came up here in whenever, whatever year Jaws came out, the summer of Jaws, 74, 5, 4, uh, I came up here with my uncle for a month. Uh, he borrowed my dad's truck and trailer and we came up here and we just friggin that was like the best vacation ever I think it was about 10 9, 10 something like that and uh, we stayed in Provo and in Provo in the 70's was just starting to get this thing called an inversion layer they said the smog because of all the factories that were here and plus they burn fields still they still do but uh, right now it's clear but if you come up here in the summer it's smoggy like the 70s in LA 
because they got no <laughs> smog things, no nothing. Only California's insane, and now we have to be insane because there's so many stinking people down there, and they do stink. But uh, here, when it comes in, they said, well, they, we have a, an inversion layer. No, it's smog. And, uh, well, they'll, something will happen at some point because there's just too many people here now. I gotta start looking for my off-ramp. But, uh, so this is basically Provo area, BYU. Uh, this is American Fork. So that means I'm kind of past it, or... I'm looking for the... Oh, there's the Y. The Y is up on the mountain... Uh, above BYU. So that's Provo. Okay. You can't really see it from here. I can see it. It's not that high up. It's about a... They say it's halfway up the mountain. It's about a quarter... A little more than a quarter way up. I mean, look at that mountain. Really? Halfway up that mountain? There's a... Another... You know, just like we have in Burbank. There's a B. Right there, there's a... G for whatever that is and there's a Y the big huge Y where everybody hikes up to you gotta do it I did it when I was younger I'm not doing it now but Y for BYU I'm sure you figured that out but see look you see how all this is doesn't it remind you of something like Valencia everything's new we got In N Out Burger up here, even. They, they have a Tommy's in St. George, but not up here yet. When they do, it'll blow up, believe me. Because everybody goes to In N Out. But it's pretty, and it's snowing. You know, we had a couple of storms come through while I've been up here. But what is this, day six or seven? Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So this is day seven. I'm tempted just to stop by, get my stuff, and keep going down to like St. George. Spend the night there and then go into California tomorrow. But uh, I don't know, I'll see when I get to my friend's house. Dang, man! They got these bumpy little parts when the snow is, when there's snow and they, I don't know, the things come and take the snow off. Because they have to take, clear the snow off of this friggin' thing, which is a big deal. But I'm sure you idiots from back east know all about it. That's why you all move out to California. Stop! Well, keep going because I'm leaving anyway. <laughs> I'm not in a good mood. I'm depressed because I'm missing my son already. Linden. I wonder what G is for. Like, G whiz? Golly G, why am I here? I don't know. But Timpanogos is up around here. Mount Timpanogos. And one of these mountains is supposed to look like a... Timpanogos is an Indian woman. That's supposed to be her laying down, if you look at... And it kind of does look like it could be a woman laying down. Right straight ahead on that mountain, if you see a little white thing right there, that's the big Y. And it's big. Didn't used to be that big, I don't think. But, uh... Yeah, and then there's the Mount uh, Timpanogos Cave, and inside the cave there's this giant, like, I don't know what the heck kind of rock it is, but it's like a huge opalescent type thing, and it's kind of red, and uh, they say it's her heart. The cave is really cool. I've been there a few times, but... Uh, not really. <laughs> they, they have a way for uh, the handicaps to get up there because it's a switchback trail to go up to the cave. But uh, eh, 
not really into doing that stuff. Or my uncle used to live here. So like when I came up here in the 80s with my friend, uh, I was, you know, partying, drinking. Uh, my friend wasn't. He was my always designated sober driver. And uh, I said, take me to my uncle's because I'm trying to find my like third cousin who I was dating. <laughs> yeah, ding, 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 ding. Why do you go to family reunions to find a wife? Uh, we never got married, obviously, but we did uh, date. So, um, so I was looking for her, so I decided to go to Uncle Cecil's, which is my grandma's older brother. And he's the knucklehead that sold all the land that uh, the family owned, the Batty family. He changed his to Beatty. Just like uh, the actor, what is it, Warren Beatty? He's related. His real name is Batty. All Batties come from Preston, England area. And when they came here, they found out that Batty is not a good thing to be called. It's, you're crazy. So, they changed it to Beatty. So there's Beatties and Batties up here. So I came to my uncle's and, you know, I didn't, I just thought he was, I mean, he was my grandma's brother. He must be a Mormon or he's not an active Mormon, whatever. So, did I miss the why? Why? Because I'm not paying attention. Anyway, so, uh, I said, well, I, I gotta, I'm going to go get something to drink. He goes, oh, you get yourself a Pepsi. I go, no, I'm going to get myself a beer. He goes, a beer? Why don't you come out back with me? And then he's like, why don't you go get me a couple, me and you a couple of beers out of the refrigerator in the, in the uh, shop? Because he had a rock, he was a rock hound. He'd polish rocks and sell them for a lot of money. And, uh... We ended up polishing like four cases of beer off. And he called me Round Eye. He kept calling, hey, Round Eye, why don't you? I don't know why, but uh, maybe because my eyes are so beautifully large and round. And uh, they're not now, I'm just old. But uh, yeah, I got to start looking for Provo. Two miles. Okay. So yeah, so we ended up getting lit up. I'm like, wow, he's uh, he's normal. And he did what I was going to do. When he thought, you know, he was getting old, health is failing, he came back to church, went to church, got all back into it, got all squared away, and then passed on. That's what I was going to do. <laughs> you know, live my life, live crazy, and all that, and then... Uh, square things away with God and the last minute yeah it's not it's not the way it works he worked it but it's not the way it really works okay I gotta get off I gotta find George's house so there you go day seven I'm in Provo I might keep going and down to St. George or I might stay here I don't know that's Utah Lake or the smaller salt lake. But that's a fresh lake. There's fish in there and everything. It's cool. Alright, lakes.